Uh, I mean, what you talking about the long run? Yes, sir. I mean, I saw the hole. I mean, we hit it. We were blocking up front pretty well in the first quarter. I mean, so it was there. You know what I mean? What happened after that? After that, I mean, we just, you know, struggled. We, we had to keep it crisp, and we didn't. You know what I mean? They had the plays laid out for us, and we didn't execute. Point blank period. You only, ended up, you only ended up with 15 carries. So you feel like you had more than that? Oh, yeah, I feel like I had about 20. Mm -hmm. So it, it was, I mean, when I was rolling, I, I had a, I think I was at like five, and then they said, hey, let's go some more. So I was like, I'm ready for it. That's what happened. How was the shoulder? Uh, it's pretty good. I got a sprained uh, AC joint, so I mean it should be better. You know, I'm, I'm being tough right now, but so it hurts though. Is that the same one that you injured before? No, sir. Uh, my left one I had a surgery on, mm -hmm. so my right one now I just got to get my AC joint right. So is that gonna keep you out any time? And oh no. To get next week? No, even if it is, I'm you know I'm still playing. So how about the frustration of the offense, how you came out with a boom and then passing game wasn't there, running game sort of slowed down. What, what was happening there that? That, that slowed things down in the middle part of the game, and Nick was struggling, of course, too. I mean, like I said, we, we just got to execute, you know what I mean? The plays were laid out there, and we just didn't do our job, you know what I mean? So it's not on the coach, and, you know, I feel like it's on us, you know what I mean? We got to go out there and get the job done. Ben steps in for a second week in a row, does a good job mm -hmm. coming off the bench. Yep, he's a tough sucker. I mean, he, he, he did his thing, you know what I mean? So he gets in there, and, you know, I'm, I'm proud of him. He does it, every, you know, every week, I guess. How you doing emotionally? I know you mentioned last week how tough you're taking these losses. I'm sure everyone is, but you and the team, how do you feel you're, you are mentally right now? I mean, mentally, you know, we're, we're emotional right now, really emotional, you know, because we're, we're so close, you know what I mean? We're really close, and like I said, the team, we just got to get back, you know, back to work. So. Ben said it seems like the offense kind of presses a little bit when you guys mm -hmm. get down in the red zone. What do you guys got to do specifically to kind of you know, execute a little bit better down there? Basically just, you know, focus up, you know what I mean? Get the plan and execute it, like I said. So when we get in the red zone, we just got to do better. We feel like when we get to the red zone, we just give up. So we just got to finish it. What about the command that Ben has when he gets in the huddle, particularly in a game like this where oh, Kentucky man. was really dominating time of possession and you guys had to, you know, work the clock yourselves and get some kind of drive going there late? Yeah, Ben's a smart guy. I mean, he can... When he gets in, he, he wants everything done his way. You know what I mean? And I like it. I don't have a problem with it. You know what I mean? So he he gets his demand, and we follow after him. So, you know, the quarterback always number one guy on the team. You know what I mean? Game plan-wise, you knew they were huge. They are huge up front. Mm -hmm. So how did you guys scheme for that going in? Uh, we scheme like we always do against any team. You know what I mean? They laid out a plan for us, and, you know, I, I thought we did well on some, plan, on some plays, and some we didn't. Was that more about getting to the edges, just getting outside in general? Uh, I, I just think, just in general, just the whole, just the whole offense. You know, what I mean, we dropped some balls. I even dropped one right on the goal line. I got to catch that. You know, I got to finish it. What kind of day did you think you were in for when you took the first carry to the house? Uh, I thought I was. You know, say that again. No, like, what kind of day did you think you were going to have after you took that first carry? Was I thought it I was going to go for about yards? 400 against them. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> I mean, it started catching on to the offense, so it it was fine after that. It went smooth. We're still busting it and gashing them, so it was a close game. Do you ever put your 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 two cents in? To like, I want the want, I want the ball more. With the I mean, you know, I, you know, I mean, hey, whatever they call, I just line up and run it. So if they call a run play, I'll run it. If they call a throw play, I don't have a problem with it. Let's pass block. You know what I mean? So. I think you. I think you've run for 100 plus yards in four or five games in October, for the last two years. What is it? You just kind of get into a groove after, I guess, a, a full month. Yeah, I'm, I'm right now. I'm in a groove right now. Like I'm, I'm hot. So, you know what I mean. Last October, I guess they, they blocked well. You know what I mean. And today they did too. We just had a couple of slip ups. Coach Moore said today after the game that the quarterback position's up for reevaluation, you know, with Nick and Ben, but I mean, mm -hmm. even John Stephen Jones or KJ Jefferson. For for you guys, when, you know, that becomes a question mark again, how do you mentally handle that? Uh, really, you know, the coaches know what they're doing, you know what I mean? So whoever they put out there, I'm, I'm fine with, you know what I mean? Whatever helps the team, let's do it. So. Yeah, 